Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, make the queen and set up the render. And in part 4, we're going to uh, create the knight. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And if you want to support the channel and get the tutorial files plus many other benefits, make sure to check out the Patreon. Okay, so let's start off by unhiding the reference image. And now we're going to create the uh, queen. So uh, let's select the uh, lower part of the uh, king first. And then we're going to uh, duplicate it. So press Shift D to duplicate. And then press X to move the duplication on the X axis. And then we're going to scale it down. So press S to scale. And then let's set it around here. And then next, we need to go into edit mode to uh, remove the uh, top. So let's go into iframe view. And then press B to box select. Then press X and delete the faces. And then let's go to edge selection and hold in alt to select the edge loop and then press F to fill the edge loop. And then you can also press G then set to move the face on the uh, set axis. So let's set it around here. And then press shift S and move the cursor to the selected face then go into object mode and then let's add a uh, cube which we will turn into a sphere. So press S to scale down the uh, cube. Then add a subdivision surface modifier and apply the modifier. Then go into edit mode and then press Alt Shift S and then 1 to turn it into a perfect sphere. And that way we avoid the lines that we get when we uh, subdivide a uh, UV sphere. And then let's add some smooth shading as well. And then hold in shift and select the queen, then press control P and set it parent to the queen. And then we can press G then set to grab it on the set axis and then S to scale as you have done before. So I think something like this looks nice. I'm just going to speed up the parts with the small adjustments. And then uh, let's say one more time, I'm going to call this one queen. And then press enter to save. And then press shift D, then Y to uh, move the duplication on the Y axis. And we're going to use the uh, brush boolean. So uh, hold in shift and select the queen, and then select the difference. And then you can move it on the Y axis. And uh, let's uh, set the uh, shading to uh, flat. like this and uh, then we're going to duplicate the uh, sphere so uh, set the uh, pivot point to the 3d cursor and then I'm going to set it around here G then X to grab it on the X axis and then press shift D R set the 90 and then press shift R to repeat the previous actions and uh, now we have uh, for different boolean brush objects like this and uh, then we can select them all and uh, edit them so let's uh, set the pivot point back to the individual origins and then select all of the uh, spheres make sure to uh, deselect the queen first and then you can press S to uh, scale them up and you can press S then set to uh, scale them on the set axis and you can also press S then shift set twice to uh, scale them on their uh, local X and Y axis 
So just play around with the uh, sizes of the boolean objects and uh, try to get something that uh, looks like a uh, queen. So once again I'm going to scale it on the uh, X and Y axis, so S then uh, Shift Z twice. I think something like this looks okay. You can press G, then set to grab them on the uh, set axis. Okay, and then let's save one more time. Click on the plus sign and then save. And then we can uh, unhide the uh, chessboard. And then next, we need to uh, set up the uh, rendering settings. But first, let's uh, set everything parent to each other. So I'll press Ctrl P to set uh, the boolean parent to the bishop, and then the cross parent to the king. And then uh, let's uh, fix the pawn as well by setting the sphere parent to the rest of the pawn. And then we can scale up all of these uh, objects by pressing S. Let's try to make them uh, large enough for the uh, chessboard. And then we can select the pawn and press G and then Shift Z to move it only on the X and Y axis. And then press G then X to move it on the X axis. The uh, chess pieces still look a bit small, so I'm just going to scale them up even more. So S to scale. And uh, then we need to duplicate the uh, pawn. So uh, let's select the whole pawn, number 7, for a top view. And then press uh, Shift D, then Y, to uh, grab the duplication on the Y axis. And uh, then I'm going to uh, move and duplicate the rest of the pieces as well. And then shift D and X to move the pawns on the X axis. And uh, make sure that every piece is in the right position. So, uh, let's duplicate the uh, queen and then shift D to uh, duplicate the queen and move it on the x-axis. And uh, then let's duplicate the uh, king. Now, let's save before we continue. So uh, let's uh, save as, I'm just going to call it board, and then press enter to save. And uh, if we increase the number of subdivisions for the queen, the uh, boolean brush gets uh, messed up, so I'm just going to set the number of subdivisions for the render to the uh, same number as in the viewport. So set it to 5, and then for the bishop to uh, 5, and um, let's set the rendering to cycles, GPU, if you only have a CPU you can just use a CPU, number of samples to 200, and then for the tiles, if you have a GPU, you can set it to 512. If you only have a CPU, you can just leave it at 64. Okay, and then next we need to add a background image. And for that, you can go to the link in the description. And I'm going to use the Chelsea Stairs background image. So well, let's open it after you have unzipped it. Add the HDR image. And then press number 5 in case you're in orthographic view. Next, we're going to add a uh, plane below the uh, board. So press Shift A, add a plane, then press G, then Set, then S to uh, scale it up. And uh, now it's time to add all of the materials. So uh, let's start off with the plane. Let's uh, make it diffuse. And then let's go into rendered view. And uh, then I'm going to uh, make the material for the board diffuse as well. And uh, 
then we can also select the uh, pieces so uh, let's start off with the uh, rook just going to uh, call the material black pieces and uh, let's make it glossy and uh, let's set the color to uh, black and then we can decrease the uh, roughness as well so let's take a closer look in uh, render view before we edit the roughness and I'm going to set the roughness to about 0.31 which I think looks nice you can add whatever roughness or color you want and uh, then I'm going to select the rest of the pieces on this side of the board and then press ctrl L to uh, copy the material to the rest of the uh, pieces and then let's uh, go into rendered view and as you can see they're now all black Okay, so next we're going to uh, go back to solid view. And then let's save before we continue. Save as, click on the plus sign and then save. And then I'm going to delete the queen on this side as I forgot the sphere on the top. And then we'll shift D, then X to move the duplication on the X axis. Okay, so uh, now we're going to add the materials for the other side as well so uh, we can give it a uh, golden color you can copy the uh, hex color coordinate if you want to and then press R set then 180 to rotate the Sun 180 degrees on the Z axis and then next I'm going to add the uh, golden material to the rest of the pieces on the left side so hold and shift to select multiple pieces and then at the end you press ctrl l to uh, copy the materials from the uh, rook to the rest of the pieces okay and uh, then next we can uh, edit the materials so just play around with the roughness values and uh, see what you prefer. You can also make the uh, floor or uh, plane a, a bit darker if you want to or give it a glossy material. Next I'm going to go into the render settings. So uh, set it to 100% if you want 1080p or 200% if you want 4K. Uh, then I'm going to save one more time and I'm also going to uh, decrease the number of subdivisions so that the render is a bit easier on your computer so uh, let's go into rendered view and uh, then I'm going to select this pawn and uh, go into the modifiers and uh, decrease the number of uh, subdivisions in uh, the uh, final render. And then I'm going to select the rest of the pawns by holding in shift and then control L and copy the modifiers. And I'm going to do the same for the rooks and uh, the king. You can also add some uh, smooth shading if you want to uh, add some additional smoothness to the objects. So uh, I'm going to save one more time. And I go to render and then render image. And that's it for part three of this uh, chess tutorial series. And in part four, we're going to create the knight. And I also want to thank my Patreons, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis, as well as many other anonymous Patreons.